Fall. Amen. As you join me with the pledge of the flag, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for coming. Um, we see that uh, everyone is here, and I've passed out minutes from uh, our regular session, May 17th meeting, our special meetings on May 24th, May 31st, June 7th, June 10th, and June 14th. There are several minutes there to review, guys. If you could, just take a time. If you uh, see any additions, corrections, please, please speak up. Did we have an officer out here at Jade Medical Control? We did not. Yeah, we did not. Uh, I emailed uh, Dave about that, and he sent me uh, some other woman. I want to say what was her name. Uh, and she sent me this price list. And I thought, well, that's weird because we had, we had made deals with them about that. But. Uh, there's all kinds of unusual things. Uh, I think it's about what we Yeah. these around guys something uh, different that I want to do is uh, give a blue pen Jennifer. okay I want to when, when we you know how we always pass them around everybody signs them I want I want everybody to initial the bottom of each page I made a place on one of them but I'd like for us to initial every every page of every minutes going forward because there are there are situations like I'm just going to use this one as an example here's the minutes there's where we sign now how easy is it to put whatever you want with those signatures that's why I want I think it's important that we all sign or at least initial every page so that there's no yeah you can't uh, can't mess that up. Does that make sense, Harold? Yeah. Or okay. Well, uh, I think it's just for uh, protection of documents. Well, it's, yeah, it preserves the integrity of the document, and uh, we'll leave it at that. I'm not supposed to accept them. All right. Is that all of them or just this I one? I went through every one of them. I don't see nothing we didn't talk about. All right. Uh, we have a motion. All right. We have a second. All those in favor? Aye. And, and uh, okay, guys, I'm passing, <laughs> passing it around and start getting signatures. You better send that blue pen with it. Did you? What's that? Send the blue pen with it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, let me get that on mine, too. All right. And I've already signed the last one. Yeah, you signed the last one. Yeah, I did. Yes, and it's initial, initial, initial sign. If if we can, we'll keep it all one page. Uh, but there are uh, there are times like our regular meetings they go a little longer. We get a little talkative, and uh, they have to go into three and four pages. Where's the financial report? It is on the printer. Yeah. yeah. And we've actually Jennifer has worked very hard. I know she has to put yeah. that to put it's that. It's gonna take a while for her to get things straightened back up. Well, 
it's, there's so many different things in play. Uh, here's the. Uh, you can just slide that in there again. Okay. Yeah, I had a buddy. It says you are a witness to it. <laughs> and then you keep those documents when they get uh, signed, and I'll show you what we do with those. the financial statements completely ready. We're pretty close. Uh, like I said, we have some on the printer, but uh, we were, how close was it? All but the uh, and the general account. Okay. Um, but just for today's one. But okay. Then we, we, we will provide those for you guys. Okay. Uh, I would like to say by the end of this week, but this week uh, we're going to that related conference in uh, Bowling Green next Monday or Tuesday. We'll have it. Um, the first item on the agenda, guys, is the uh, go move on down to old business. We have the drainage issues at Church Street and West Street. They're at the conservation building. Uh, they approached me, I'm sure they approached you, Commissioner Green, and said someone would be present at this meeting to discuss it, and they're not. Um, I take that as a sign that, uh, that uh, they're not that interested. Uh, so we'll move on to the next one. I have a uh, resolution. I need to sign for the KIPTA Regional Hazard Mitigation Plan. Uh, this resolution says that you guys give me the authority to work with KIPTA for that, that grant for the uh, chlorine detector or any other kind of hazard mitigation uh, plans that Kentucky Emergency Management does or KIPTA does. And that does help us when it comes time to apply for these FEMA recovery monies, too. And my motion will give you that authority. So right. your safety stuff. Yeah, safety stuff. All right. I'll second. I'm sorry I'm taking a little longer. I've got to keep notes, guys. Or unless you're doing that. I am. Oh. <laughs> no. Rock on. Take notes. Yeah, uh, the motion is to sign that resolution. Mm -hmm. And Commissioner Harmon seconded. All those in favor? Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, the nuisance ordinance <coughs> and enforcement update. Uh, guys, we have not sent a letter. We, we have not completed that. But uh, by word of mouth, places around town are getting cleaned up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some places are back. They are. And some places are not. It, it is slowly. Uh, I, I, I know I spoke to a few gentlemen, and uh, and that seemed to help with them. So uh, we're we are keeping an eye on it, and uh, if the letters have to come out, they they will come out. And I and I, and I really think that uh, when Jim and I go to this conference this week. Uh, we're going to learn some things to help us uh, tackle this a little bit. It's, I think it's on abandoned, blighted, 
um, blighted, abandoned, and dilapidated properties. And I th and I think that how to deal with landlords? Yeah, how to, yeah, how to deal with it. So I think we're going to learn a lot. I anticipate uh, that we will. All right, uh, the additional security cameras for the community center, guys. I I want to table this. Uh, the gentleman who put up our cameras was supposed to be here on it. I don't know what day of the week, and he's never showed. Um, so I, I, I do want the cameras, but I can't. I'm not just going to throw that out there without having a price and without having the confidence in the uh, person uh, doing it. Yeah, the, the uh, person doing the work. So we'll nix that one. Okay. All right, and then cleaning the handrails on the sidewalk. Harold next to 421 from Marathon to the middle school. Okay, I, I tried to get that done while back. I Jimmy, he, he was busy. He couldn't do it. So right. I don't know where he can. Of course, it's going to take a good bit of work. It is. It's going to preserve them a little bit, but I feel like, you know, there's still a lot of it gone. So yeah. we might, if we could, that's going to have to be chained. Yeah. Sandpaper and white cloth on each one of them. And, uh, and the pa you know, thank for you, Pam. I've been doing a lot of research on them, and when they're connected, when they are put in the in the concrete, that's what causes them to rust the way they do. And if if you look at the handrails out here on on this side of the uh, the parking lot, the stairway, those those handrails aren't connected to that concrete, and they're rust free. So there, there must be some truth to it. Well, the saw, see this the highway department goes through there and there's yes. close to the highway. Yes. And they throw that salt up there and uh, our sidewalks is deteriorating oh, they're a bad. lot too. Yeah, they're bad. So uh, that's what's causing because the uh, moisture is sticking around there and getting on them railing. And right. Salt. And it's uh, just corroding. One of the, you know, we're kicking around all kinds of ideas and we're I'm researching the internet, trying to find a ways to do it, because I liked your idea. You know, go through there yeah, with the chain. Like put and, a chain on them. And sandpaper. Yeah, and yeah, the chain is going to sample a couple of them with a power washer, see how much it'll cut off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and it may take enough off, I don't know. Well, we ain't got a lot of years left there. No. I know, and that's, but, that's uh, something we need know, to be uh, putting on. We, we need it for a safety factor. It's sure. Gonna but but what you did last year, you yes. put a yellow plug on, and it never even lasted a year. No. You notice it? Yeah. It, it, yeah. it, it didn't, didn't last six months. No. Listen, no. it didn't last six months. I, I, I said it, yes. it preserves, preserve it for a while. No, oh, no, but, we don't have it. Uh, you, you get them where they get some weak and somebody comes by there and falls out on the highway. Mm -hmm. If it's a highway, you're going to be in trouble. We mm -hmm. said you're going to be in trouble. Absolutely. They're, they're necessary. We yes, have to sir. have them. They've got to be there because people come on there and push on them all the time. That's right. And I just, I want us all to be thinking that that, this is coming. Uh, and to make our ground station. And yes, I'm looking. So that's the only way I know that might be. Well, we you know, the Russell and I went before in state paper. Come on, yeah. in state paper. And that's what I'm hoping we can find another grant uh, that will do that for us. Yeah, uh, show time. <laughs> All right, we will move right on yeah, you to, to commissioner reports. But uh, that's the only thing I know. I don't know what uh, anything else you can do. Right. Well, we'll keep looking at it. I just, my main thing, guys, and, and Daryl and I have talked about it, I want them done before the Apple Festival. Yeah. Come hell or high water, I want them done by the Apple Festival. It's going to take a little while, and uh, I don't know where Jimmy do it, you know, be able to do it or not. Right. Well, uh -huh. He knows how I feel about this. Well, and the thing about There's it is, so many people, uh, you know, walk through the Apple Festival. You know, it uh, seemed like a, a group that wanted to hire anyone from outside, so we right. maybe well, we'd, we may have to. We may have to. But that's way. I tried to get Chris Bell to give us a uh, price on it one time. He did, and. Uh, and uh, then later on, I come back, and he never did ever give me a price on it. It was about 600 some odd dollars first. So. Sure. Well, it's but, a big job. And, and I tell you, I wouldn't be opposed 
if if we could work this out to having like a, a a high school group to give them money uh, if, if you guys would be open for that and if it was legal we just have to keep money inside we can right we can't have my best right. room and we can outside. You, you're over the sheriff's department we could probably coordinate the something uh, with the sheriff's I was talking to you about the, the volunteers cleaning up yeah there's a boy scout group in uh, Milton that would love to do that if we could donate something to the Boy Scout. Group. Right. How old, how old are those kids? I don't know. I, I tell you what I'm thinking about is the, the high school football team. Uh, I haven't spoke to the coach about this, but I know that uh, they have a new high school coach and he came into a very big deficit and they're doing all kinds of fundraisers and I thought uh, that might be something we think about. Uh, just to think about. Then Tom Starks with that group that's doing the cleaning up, he said his church would be glad to do stuff okay. you know, instead of the money coming to us for doing stuff give it to their church right and they do a very good job yeah they did good behind uh on sunny fisher's property all right uh now let's go to the commissioner report mr helm everything's going good so far at the waste treatment plant those boxes i talked to jimmy this morning and he has not ordered them okay what, what are those boxes for these that's for the uh, degreaser machines and stuff that goes around each lift station. Uh, he was supposed to have done got those and he hasn't yet, but uh, as soon as he gets back, I'll get with him to get those put in so we can get those degreaser machines put in. And, and to further explain what he's talking about is uh, at our last May meeting, we decided, we approved uh, Jimmy to buy this 55-gallon uh, barrel of degreaser. Right after the meeting, the guys who used to do our degreaser showed up with a brand new plan. They they had not been servicing us the way they were supposed to, and we let their we let them go. But we still needed degreaser. Well, when they showed up and explained what was going on before and what they would do going forward, well, it was a fraction of the cost of what that barrel of degreaser was going to be so we went with them and now we just need to buy like little uh these little boxes he's talking about look like the rubber made box it's, yeah it's like a little cabinet uh, you see them in a lot of tool sheds and things but i think they're about 70 dollars a piece uh, and we need two of them one for lift station number one and one for lift station number four just to uh make sure those degreasers are going in at, at those end of town all right uh commissioner harman uh it's uh, going well uh, they're coming a little later since school's closed but uh, as far as i know they're picking everything up yeah i guess i'll get back on track when school opens up again yeah you know it is weird that they they come later when school's out yeah <laughs> All right, Commissioner Floyd, the cemetery. Well, uh, I told you this morning, uh, Carl's got the post set for the gazebo, and Chris poured the concrete yesterday. I presented a bill this morning for that, and everything else. David's got it. He mowed it again yesterday. He's got it looking good, so okay. That'll work. everything's running smoothly. I would like to see if uh, we could get... Uh, uh, get in touch with the funeral homes and kind of get an idea of what what they charge and, and uh, Commissioner Floyd and I talked about this what they charge to put up their tents and stuff to have funerals and uh, you know our thinking was when we built this gazebo that we we could have funerals there and then uh, the city or the cemetery could get that money uh, we all know that that any money we bring in for that cemetery is going to be for the long-term care of that it's not not a money-making thing at all we want to pay for the building too. but we right we want we want to make sure that it's getting mowed 50 years from now uh over our grave it's always a problem the city city owns the cemetery once once it's uh, eight, you know. People they let it go, don't they? Lost. Yeah, and milk is kind of the same mm -hmm. problem. There's nothing to. All right, no money to take. Yeah. So, what did uh, he charge us on the concrete? Well, 
the concrete's going to be more. I talked to Todd this morning because there was a misunderstanding between Carl and whoever. We understood it was going to be a 15 by 20. Oh, mm -hmm. he's still for the 15 by 30 gazebo. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know where the mistake is. Oh, I am. I'm that, that is what in my mind I had envisioned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll deal with the rest of it. But I think so, too. It's going to be, I think, very beautiful when he gets there. Carl's a heck of a carpenter. Yes, he is. All right, we'll go to you, Commissioner Green, on the streets and sidewalks. Okay. As far as the, the present sidewalks are in good shape, uh, we have the OVA. Uh, uh, put the blacktop down, or asphalt, what you might call it. And uh, I really wasn't satisfied with one area, so I told them about it. So we ain't gonna pay them until they fix that. Okay. So I told him, I said, you gotta do this. Right. So he kind of argued with me. I, I'm not too uh, in love with that company anymore. Who do you deal with? I deal with uh, Jesse Walker. Okay. Jesse Walker and I went through uh, Travis Calvert. Yeah, Calvert, yeah. And then I went through some more over. I went to see the main office over and talked to them. Okay. But uh, uh, they just didn't treat us right this time. But as far as that, I'm waiting on the finish out without so we won't sign the check. I don't think they did a very good job. Well, because when you just that. when you just bring a brush over here, sweep it off and lay blacktop on it, that's not gonna hold. But uh, uh, no they, uh, uh, they, they, uh, they uh, one thing too, they're supposed to contact me when they before they done it. When they come, I'll be there mm -hmm. to check with. Them. They they didn't. They remember that day I mm -hmm. came in here. You told me it's blacktop. Oh yeah. Yeah, bond done blacktop. So they came without me being present. So they sneaked around. Right. So I'm not, I'm not satisfied with. Right. What they're doing now. Yeah. Not either. All right. Uh, on the next item, guys, we're going into new business and have passed around some personnel policy revisions. Um, the first one is affirmative action. Uh, I wanted to get ahead on this. I mean, nobody, nobody's telling us if we need to do this. But I wanted to make sure that we did it. Um, it says the city of Bedford remains committed to an environment which permits an employee to develop and pursue opportunity free from harassment on the basis of national origin, race, color, gender, age, religion, disability, and I added, or sexual orientation. Um, I also changed a couple of pronouns uh, where it said they and I put he or she. Uh, because I didn't like the use of the word they. That that was the only changes in that was to add. Yes, absolutely. Uh, you can have mine when I'm done with the building. And, and well, and actually, it, this is just like a first reading. Yeah, I still let you see them, but they're not. Uh, it's just a first reading, and if there's any revisions, we'll do them uh, and present them again next month. Uh, the next one is yeah. <laughs> the next one is the uh, uh, compensation. It talks about hours of work. Um, oh, and guys, on these, I want your input too. If you see something you want to add, if there's something, anything, please speak up. Let's get it in here. Uh, all full-time employees shall work a minimum of 32 hours a week. The personnel director sets the work schedules of all hourly employees. Flexible work uh, hours may be authorized by the personnel director. Those are pretty much the same as before. Um, the pay period thing, uh, the employees are paid bi-monthly with checks distributed on the 15th and the 30th. If the 15th is on a holiday, the employees will be paid the last working day before the holiday. If it's on a weekend, they'll be paid on the Friday before. Uh, unless otherwise specified by the personnel director, the work week shall start on Sunday and end on Saturday. Um, I think the, 
the big change here was that first one, all full-time employees shall work a minimum of 32 hours a week. Now, with, uh, you know, we're looking at the city clerk position, that position is works pretty much the hours were open. Um, there was, uh, there was uh, uh, 31. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, like uh, we've all talked, Frank and I talked about it the other day. There's an hour to make up anywhere in, in the week. Uh, Can you take a stop just for a second? Yep. I got to take a break. <laughs> take a Don't take a break. Doreen Goodwin. You all know who Doreen Goodwin is. She's running. Judge. Okay. Okay. She's over in Henry County. She asked me this morning. If she could come and speak, it kind of just great. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but she's there. It takes 20 minutes to get here. Okay. I think I told you to go. There's a lady just pulled in the parking lot of her. She's not a lady. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. You said Dorian. I could be a man. Uh, yeah, I'm teasing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Can I tell her then? Just mm -hmm. come on. Absolutely. This here. Absolutely. Old time shall be approved and writing in advance by the personnel director. You need to define that emergency. Um, all right. Or, Do you want to take that out? No, not take it out. Just define it to where, because where the police station alarm goes off. Yes. That's not a blatant emergency. All right. Well, then let's just leave that out. Well, just leave that let's out. leave that whole, what do you guys think? Because I don't consider that to be an emergency because you have a two hour window to get there. So what are you saying, Jim? Leave this part here out. Where it says unless. But you still, he can't use that as an emergency to get overtime, is what I'm saying. So, so you know, some people would define that as an emergency if the alarm goes off the lift. You have a two hour window. Right. Yeah. So that really is not an emergency. Unless a pipe busted or something like that, then he can let you know. Okay. You got to find so it's better off just leave that sentence off. Right. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. What if it's a holiday? Then is he going to have to ask you to work prior to? Mm. That's a good point to put in there. And I know we've just discussed this before, but in all honesty, the way that was set up, the way I understood it, it was supposed to be four hours down there mm -hmm. and four hours on the streets. Yeah. Right. So actually, on a holiday, should I would pay him a full holiday for that if he shows up? And we have been. Well, he, so we need to define that and this job done for a lot of them. Right. Yeah, because you don't have to come oh, up here and do it. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to work on that. Uh, that broke down in the hours. Yeah. 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 So it's supposed to be a half and half. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know there's no reason to walk on the streets unless the land blows out or something like that. Right. Then we have a storm. Yeah. 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 And normally we would all be out there. Or snow or something like that. Right. That's yeah. true. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, he has to show up. Yeah, for a while. Right. No overtime, period, unless it's a right. dog who you first. Right, and that's the way we'll put it. And you make it to where he has to, put, has to put it on paper, Why? document. Right. Because it ain't going to be because, Daryl, you work overtime. Yeah, I did. No, you can't. You right. Can't do that. Right. I agree. Okay. Uh, I we, need, we need more documentation. Uh, very much. Be, before, uh, before we go further, I see Jessica back here, and we're waiting on her. She's here. No, this lady is asking questions about the food pantry. Oh, okay. And she doesn't know you want to talk to her. Uh, not right now. This going to take five minutes. Let's take, 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 take a break, break though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I want to. I want to let Jessica talk yes. while we're waiting. Okay. Uh, and this is Jessica Chatham, and. Uh, the reason she's here is uh, I was collecting the sewer bills, yeah. and I looked at her bill and it was 78 bucks. I knew it was her, her husband, and two little two little babies. What's your daughter? Three? Yes. And and, a, and she got like a six month old, and her sewer bill 78 bucks. So I didn't talk to her about it. I I took her money, or Jennifer did, and. I got in the computer and I looked, and her average usage is 7,000 gallons a month. Average? Uh, average usage over the last five years. So, uh, have you got a bad lead or something? Well, how many swimming pools do you think you've got a bad lead? Yeah, so I called the water company 
And uh, they said, well, we've been meaning to get out there and, and, uh, and change that meter. So they came out, they changed her meter. And Jessica, go ahead. How much water did you use in the last two weeks? Okay. And today, I was 400 gallons. Wow. In two weeks. Yeah. Uh, so, and the reason I wanted to hear, guys. How long has this been going on? Five years. Five years. Yeah. Jessica, check. And I complained that they were supposed well, to work on the end. They won't come out. That ain't, that ain't right, Jessica. They keep telling me there's a leak somewhere, but the needle on the computer walks in unless water is on. Right. On that same right. note, Man. mine, where I live, I live by myself, average 900 a month for the past seven months. And then this past month, the bill that's due now, it jumped from 900 to 2700. Yeah. And next month, it's going to go back to 900. Yeah. Now you tell me how that works. How she's being done like that. I'm being done yeah. like that. Well, what what I was going to say is, uh, we have no control over what the water company does. But I wanted her here for us because I want to adjust her rate. Her her rate. I totally understand. She's been paying that 70 and 80 bucks a month. Um, can, can we can this body do that? That's that's what I'm curious about. <laughs> yeah, I'm, because we don't provide because I, service. Because I want no no on the on the sewer. sewer. Oh sewer, just, I'm just on the sewer. sewer. Is the water company responsible for changing the meter? It is. Well, Jess here, they going to do anything? It, I'll put it this way: reimbursement. Yes, send the meter off to be tested with that one hundred seventy-five dollars. They won't have it tested. Seventy-five dollars. They won't. <laughs> They're having a meeting this afternoon at five o'clock. The water company is okay. discuss something, so probably everybody needs to go. Yeah. Okay. That's crazy. They're gonna raise a little bit too, right? I, I don't they're know. Raise, I would like to hear. They're gonna raise it too. I don't know how we would control rate if I, I would agree. With and that. so what I understand. Go. What I was thinking about doing is when we look at our first full month usage with that new meter, uh, that we can kind of start adjusting from there. Which, uh, what has it been before this done that? How I mean, I mean, well, ever since you've been there, it's just what it's been. Ever since you've been there, yeah, there five was years, no different. Okay. Yeah, five years. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know where it was. It was a bad meter, and uh, the well, water company not. says they'll send it off to get tested, but it cost us seventy-five dollars. And uh, but they didn't write anything off, did they? Right. No. Now they they have told me uh, the lady that I spoke to said she was going to look into it, uh, but like I said, we don't control what they do. No. But we do control what we do, and. Uh, if I have your all's blessing, I would like to work with her and adjust that rate. Uh, and I'll present it to you is what I'm doing before I do it. But uh, just because this has been such a gross uh, uh, cost, it was just enormous. I can't can't imagine. And I'm and I'm sorry I didn't see it before then. But I'm glad I did when I did. Take it until you get some answers. And then yes. yes I will, well, and, and that'll give her two more weeks. But you guys all agree we should do this, don't we? Do, do something. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how much we can do, but do something. Brian. Yeah. How's that, Jessica? Thank you. Thank you for coming, too. <laughs> and if you got your babies to get to. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. Well, Thank you for coming. Thank you, Jessica. Go to the meeting at 5 o'clock. Right. Yes, sir. And tell them what you think. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, really. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. She's cleaning them so much. Where the skin off. She didn't know there was a problem. For right. five years. She right. thought it was wrong. She thought that was wrong. She didn't know. Yeah, that's just anybody. You know, see, that's too much. You know, well, maybe not. Maybe not. She's young. That's she didn't it. know how much money she was saying. Okay, the ne on back to the personnel policies, guys. Uh, the next one is about the health insurance. Uh, I left this little line blank. It said because I said the city will play blank of an employee's health insurance uh, because the city of Bedford is, uh, you know, a one-two employee operation, at least two. Um, 
it hurts us when we try to get him a group to get group coverage to get lower rates high to the uh, uh, for health insurance. So what I when I what we've done in the past is we have paid a hundred percent of the employees insurance premiums, um, but we have another employee that is going to be getting on it too so we're going to have two employees do we want to pay the full 100 percent do we want to pay a percentage do we want to put a dollar amount on it that's i want to give that to you all my my thinking on it is uh that we should put a dollar amount on it we kind of agreed the other day up to $300. Well, that's that was the thinking that I had, Frank. That's what we agreed to. Jim? That'd be fun. We, we first said three, but if it didn't cost three, we shouldn't pay for it. Yeah. Right. Just up right. to up two. Up to three. Okay. In fact, if you need a motion, I'll make it. No, we, okay. this is just the first reading, okay. and I'll, I'll present it again uh, next month okay. for the second reading, and we'll pass it. All right. That gets us right through those. Um, the next one, guys, is the community center checking account. Uh, after the meeting today, I have to go up to the bank because uh, I, I called them and said uh, that we had an employee that's no longer with us and I needed to take, uh, take her off the uh, bank things up there. They said, uh, okay, bring us a copy of your minutes and we'll take care of it. Uh, so I knew I had to wait till today to get that done uh, and to get us a key for the night night drop box. Oh, they brought you off? Fantastic. All right, and uh, so I would like to go up there and, and ask questions about a community center checking account. I want to know, you know, the cost of it, uh, what's the minimum balance, will there be interest accrued, uh, things like that. Because I would like to, and then I guess this is what prompted it. There was a lady that was renting the community center this weekend, and she asked me, who do I make the check out to? Well, I said, the city of Bedford. Uh, but then I got to thinking, you know, if we could have these checks coming in just to the community center, things like these ceiling fans, those air conditioners, that toilet in there, or that urinal uh, would come out of those, come out of that money, and we would we would find out. I think in a short time what this community center actually cost the city, and we could see, you know, the money coming in and out. That it would uh, it would give us some ideas of what you know we should work harder, or whatever. Uh, with raising uh, more revenue for the place. Do we just have one big checking account, one big account, and all the money goes in there? Well, well you got to get a We have one, one general account where most of the money goes, unless it's one that's designated. Yeah, and, the, and it's not a designated account for the community center. Under the big, big account, general account, do we have line items under that? No. Because that's what a lot of a lot of places have. They have one account. You don't want 14 accounts. Right. But they have one account, general account, and then they have line items. But there's never been nothing like that. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be hard to do it that way. Right. But that's the way I mean, most but some of them do. I think that if you write that check for the community center, it should be written out to Morgan Community Center, not to him, him, or me, or well, I don't think they should be written city. individuals. No. Oh, no. I don't think they should be written out individuals. Nope. Right. Go uh, check on them. Huh? Okay. It'd be worth checking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I want to know what the, what the cost well, of They always put on the financial statement, you know, mm -hmm. you know, but community center expenses so much, and then uh, uh, what, what we're taking, they put that so much. Yeah. So that's yeah. 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 I, well, I think, I think Rita has done that yeah. for us. Yeah. 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 But if you had, like, in, in the general account, and you had $10,000 as the balance, mm -hmm. and then you had different line items, right. uh, and had one for, for streets and one for uh, 
Community center. Then those should add up to ten thousand dollars. But then there you are again, right. just right. by using the uh, garbage part. Mm -hmm. You write a check from O and M to General, then to Brumby. There's three checks. You know, and that's that's done every month like that. It's complicated. <laughs> yes, it is. It's well, very got, but that would be, I would like writing three checks would be make the world go Then writing. Uh, having 14 counts. I oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I do. I do. It, it, anytime you get in, a, in an agency or, or that has a lot of different places but, where their money goes, right? It's going to be it's going to be complicated. I mean, that would be fine as long as you see on paperwork where but what came into this. You see on paperwork. That's where the, the big thing. Going. You, yeah. You, right. yeah. You know. It'll make a difference. Right. About the other. Yeah, but. And then then go to individuals. Right. How much checks you go to an individual is if it's a paycheck or a reimbursement or something that you should have the mayor's and yeah, and so going up there, we uh, have to get all new signature cards for us. Okay. So, no, so you guys <laughs> make your way up there to the bank and sign those cards. And we, do, we, we have two individual sign checks. Yes, each. Yeah. Yeah. Just tell us when you go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, the next one, guys, is the spay and neuter clinic, uh, or the spay and neuter checking account. Uh, I called Jerry Powell and asked him if he wanted that account. I don't remember exactly how much money is in there, but uh, I knew that day that I called him. He said he did not want. It. He does not want the spade and, and neuter at all. It really should be a county thing. Well, that's that was my uh, that's thought. I feel about it. They have animal control. Yeah. Why not yeah. have spade and yeah. neuter? Yeah. It should be. It, it just makes oh, sense. If that's the case, then we should just do away with the period. Because I, I don't. I'm like Daryl. I don't want it in here because of the disease of the animals where we have food in here quite often. Whether we have it or someone rents it, there could be a disease from an animal. We don't need it here. We don't need it. I say if, there's, no. if the county don't want it, like say, we shouldn't have do it. I don't, uh, I don't want to do it here, but I, man, I hate to see it do away now. I, well, I it, we, I really, we can't have it here. I'm, where I'm is there a place? With you, but I, some well, of you I mean, it. yeah. Well, if the county if should have it, that's what you that, huh? that would be fine. Do what? Find an entity to take care of it. Maybe the vet? If we can I find a vet. who actually there. does the work. Well, we just that. don't need to have it. I don't know why they couldn't open the county bar in one, what is it, every three months or six months? I, I think it's every six months. Is it some kind of animal? I don't think it's going to be a building. <laughs> what can it be at the shelter, the animal shelter? Yeah, it's Jerry that, that's what I proposed to Jerry Powell. He said oh. he doesn't want it. He'll, they don't want nothing to do with it. We don't need it in here. Uh, but the the thing thing about right. is, when we had it here, the dog catchers came here and got the animals and took them. I know all so that. what's the... But how long did the animals stay here before the dog catcher came? Nothing. And I have a few hours. So. They used to stay up out overnight. The county is pretty good shape in the city on a dog. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, now we got plenty of cats, but if you go back to not using that service, and you know what you're doing. Oh right. Right. Yeah. And every meeting practically would have complaints. Yes. Feral cats. Yeah. Yeah. Try to talk to them again, Todd, if they have or whatever. Yeah. Maybe they're a master. I don't yeah, know. that's a, that's a thought. Say uh, something to stick to y'all. What? Uh, I, 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 why wouldn't they want it out there? I don't know. You know those? They got he, one, three he, paid employees out there? Right. He did not uh, and hesitate. Got, and they got a new building and they got a room. Yeah. And all they do is store them there and take them to the ground. Uh, and they got, and they got other cases. <coughs> maybe maybe they don't have very much dog food. I don't know. Right. Yeah, but they ain't got three or four don't times. Too, much, uh, too many times during the year. So. Right. Twice a year. But, well, you know, so they, they just have to stay in here overnight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They stay at the vets over there. They don't pick them up. Yeah. You know what to do with the water. Was it 1300 I think it was $1,300. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That, we don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many have to feed them for two meals. Yeah. Right, and it is an important thing. And they very important thing. We didn't feed them at all. Yeah, yeah we did. Well, they not, but they, the vet took care of them after they ate them. Some people were still out there. I can understand. Some of them were up to that dog. Yeah. But, 
All right, uh, so we'll move on. It, it is uh, $1,270. Okay. Um, the next item, guys, is applying for a city credit card. Currently, the city has uh, credit accounts with Marathon, Lowe's, John Deere Tractor, or uh, Southern States. It's a John Deere credit card. I have no idea where it's at. I know the bill comes, but I don't know anything about the card. Um, and I know that those charges are made in Southern States, like where Jim buys uh, Roundup and stuff, and wheat control. It's when uh, he just went to Southern States to get eminence to get that. What? The reason I'm thinking the city needs to apply for this card is like when, if any of us go to a conference, we have to use a credit card to book the room. Now, I don't mind doing that. I'm sure Jim don't mind, or you guys might not mind, but then we have to write a check to ourselves to reimburse for, for those, those things. And uh, I just think that if we had the city credit card, that would give more transparency uh, and less confusion because the checks would, would go to the credit card company and we would see the bill, we would know exactly, just like with all the other accounts, we know what's being charged and who and why. Uh, it would be the same thing. Instead of uh, coming in and here's your receipt, writing a check. And we buy, or have in the past, a lot of things from Amazon. I, I use it, and I get a check for when I do it to reimburse me of those funds. But it would be so nice if we didn't, if we just cut that out, cut out the middleman. And that's why I would like that, uh, for us to be thinking about applying for that city credit card. And I think Bedford Bank would probably facilitate that for us. I think, think the first thing you need to do is A, find out what credit cards you have. Okay. Where are these credit cards? Because they should be, if not, if, well. I have two of them. Well, but, I mean, there should be a list in the office of these are the credit cards we have. And, and he's authorized to use them. Well, yeah. Well, and I think. I think the old person to authorize to use them would be somebody sitting at this table. Correct. Um, but you don't want them just floating around. Right. You know, Amazon or someplace. You know, right. Because what's going to keep me from going and buying some books? Sure. Uh, but you want to know what credit cards do we have and where are they? If That's the first thing you need to do. If you cannot establish for any of them, cancel. Cancel the card. Right. It, you know, if there's a card to some old place and, and nobody responds when you try to find out who's got it and where it is, then cancel it. It takes care of that. Right. Once, you, once you've done that, I think you, you, you only need maybe, you know, a couple credit cards. And like if you're going, going on a trip or something, that card should be used, called to make the reservations, and that's what I do, you know, if I want mm -hmm. yeah, to exactly. have a room held, and and here's my credit card number, and, and you've got it done, so that when you show up, that's who you are, and you've you got the thing. We're making it too complicated and involving too many stop-off points, but by doing that, you increase the possibility that they'll be incorrectly used. I'm not saying people steal, some places they do, but it, they can be used incorrectly, and that's what you want to avoid against. City only needs a couple of credit cards right. in the city's name, right. and they, for the most part, they should stay here at the city. Right. Uh, and if, you know, what's his name needs truck full of gas, come stop and get how far it's at And, and, he, and he, <laughs> he keeps really? one he keeps that gas card on him. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't I don't know that 
you know, because what, I'm just saying it. He can't be turning up his car. Right. Well, we watch his, uh, he has to turn in receipts. Yeah. And then we match have. them up. Yeah. yeah, we match those up. Yeah, and that just makes more work for you, and I trust you. I'm an honest guy, but still, places that I work with or deal with that have credit cards, it does, you, you, you have a limited number, they're in place, and if somebody needs it, they come and get it, and right. then they bring it back. That's the way it actually should be. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, that's, I that's, that's, the, that's that. the quickest yeah. way to keep things under control. Mm -hmm. You can't have Todd sitting around half a month trying to figure out <laughs> who's, got, who's got checks right. and what is this right. for. And this, all this is doing, everything we're doing is just simplifying it where we all understand it. Yeah. It makes it easier on everybody. Well, what you're doing is tightening things up over we know after what's years, going on. after years of just coming and do this, do that, do that. We can't do that. Well, uh, but that's what we've done. And, and it, it, it hasn't been anything wrong that I know of. It's right. just, it's just it's in like, the picture. <clears throat> yeah. If they pick the car up, they don't need to pay. Keep it three weeks before they bring it back. You know, oh, no. It'd be brought back. You know, right. That's right. Fuel when you brought back. That's that right. Yeah. That's right. And I, I like the accountability. Yeah. 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 And a lot of it, honestly, that card would be used right here in the office. Yeah. And and you know the same with any other purchases that you we need make. Gas? Here, here's your card. Right. Go get gas and bring it back. Right. Check them. Yeah. All right. So that'll be that'll be my next thing. All right. Now we have a couple folks here from the community. Uh, Scotty, happy birthday. You feel any older? 46 or 47, Scotty? Seven. 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 Oh, I didn't realize you were that young. much older than Don't put that in the paper. That's <laughs> young, Scotty. And Dorian Goodwin's coming. Yes, okay. Good deal. All right, go ahead, Scotty. Three things from the neighborhood. Okay. Probably down there is one of when or are you all going to do anything with the COVID situation? Right? Forced away from the back of it. Right. I mean, it's been brought up before, and you said you were going to, so he was just wondering. Right. Yes, was. and uh, Hopkins was talking to uh, someone, and I don't remember who the name was, uh, but he said he had, do you know about this? I don't know what you're talking about. It's that culvert at the end of I know it's culvert. Or but Church Street. Not, uh, like it's said, at the corner of Church Street. Last week, y'all discussed it. You agreed that something's got to be done. Right. Well, on that right. on that same note, right. There's a there's supposed to be a drive just this way up from that with a culvert in it. Uh, the gentleman who owns that wants to know why that entrance has not been repaired because that washed out. And Is that the same guy? That's, no, like that's a different one in Old Hills Rock. The driveway right before. Okay. There's a, another driveway. The reason I'm speaking on this behalf is him and Timmy are both working, so okay. that's the reason I'm bringing it up. But he was told by someone here that that was already addressed and taken care of, and it never has been fixed. Okay. Then Hoskins is in Bowling Green at a wastewater thing, so I. I can't even call him. Um, well, he, he knows what's going to happen this week. He right. Knows, you know, but but he, did, he, he did tell me something about that, Scotty, and I don't remember the uh, the play-by-play -play on it, but, well, but I know there's something he was doing. At, at one time when the water was, you know, it was concrete, and now all of a sudden the water's running under the concrete, and now it's going around everything. And, and it's creating more rain on top of the corner. Yes. The water is... When we had those big rains a month ago, it's going around it, isn't it? It's blown out behind it. And I'm the front of the ground is big and five foot deep. So, oh, I haven't seen that. Is the uh, state involved in, in this? No way. No, this, is, God, this, is, this is a city okay. thing. Yeah, this, okay. is, this is our baby. Okay. It's, it's right here. What about Jamie was talking about another cohort? Yeah, that's what we're talking The other cohort about this one is up. Uh, 40 or 70 feet above it. It's on the same street though, right? Yeah. It leads into the barn. Yeah. On, on 421 or on? No, this is, you go right here to Church Street. Right here by Old Live when you cut down, yeah. you get to the curve. And so when you go around the curve, the culvert is actually straight in front of you. That way where the sewer drain is. But the culvert he's talking about, you, you can't miss it. It leads to the red barn sitting down here. Yeah. 
Okay, that's I mean, where we had replaced that. The was just sitting up on top of it. Yeah. And I couldn't drive my truck across that cold. I mean, it's that rough. Oh. I went down there to help them cut up the tree. Okay. Last fall. Right. And this worked out so bad we couldn't drive the vehicle across it. They could drive the tractors across it. Right. But a regular truck. Okay. Can't make it. Just because the cold was sitting up on top of the rocks there. Copeland, does he live in the mobile home here? He's in the truck. That's a thought. Okay. Can you fix it this afternoon? Can you fix it in the morning? And then the culvert he's talking about is just that runs, it runs parallel to the street as it just goes down over the hill. When you go to do it, you're probably just going to have to do all See it both. Same See it both. Well, that goes to the They should go as long as you mm -hmm. I don't know why we are. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's going to be. Yeah, I wish we hadn't done that. Do you know, Harold? That's somebody else. Yeah. Harold, do you know why we did that? No, I really don't. I don't either. I don't remember. Why did you put the cold in there? Right. Well, because they concreted all the way from the top of the hill all okay. the way down there and put those rocks. Oh, right, down. right, right. And now it's just all, it's all worst mixed match. I bet that con I bet that culvert sits on top of that concrete, don't yes. it? Yeah, that, and that's why the rocks up here that's why and down it. there and both the con cold and stuff. That was all put in prior to me. It was 25 years. Oh, every bit of it. Yeah, every bit of it. I mean, yeah, it was, that was, uh, yeah. 25, maybe 30 years ago. Yeah, maybe 30 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have to take another look at that. Yeah. See. Yeah. And if, if yeah. you could, Harold, yeah. see, see what you could. We're going to take another look at it. See, we never had nothing to do with that. Yeah, and I, I bet it was 30 years ago. Jimmy Hoskins. Yeah. Now the, he, now the culvert he, on the wall. The other, he, he was talking to us and he told us the guy that done all that up through there he used to work for the city, but okay. he, he knew about it. Right. He knew the guy had done it. He knew and he tried to tell him then or something. Somebody in his family told him, you're wasting your time doing it this way. Hmm. But the city went ahead and done it. Oh, wow. Now the coal was slow there. It was slow the trailer in. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Second thing, yes. Uh, I know she's not here no more, Rita, but mm -hmm. she said our speed up signs have been delivered and we were just wondering the status on those. Have you seen them? The sheriff's office says yeah. they, won't, they won't even sit down there until they're up. I haven't seen anything. Not I, haven't, I, haven't I haven't seen them either. No, no. Years, Scotty. Uh, like I said, I'm just yeah. going with okay. the question that I've asked. Yeah. Um, what oh, was it, 15 mile an hour speed limit sign? Well, that's what you all decided. Well, it like seems like what you, There's still the 10 mile an hour sign up here, but right. I think when you all were discussing it, you said that's not really correct because it's supposed to be 15 or something. Right. On the way home, I looked on a trailer. It seemed like I heard something said that they were set out onto the trailer, but I'll look when I go by the center. Yeah, that's, well, that's what... Uh, Somebody told me. That. That's what Rita told Hoskins that they were out here at the, at the cemetery building. But he didn't see him out there. I'll open up. So, the so yeah, if you could take another look. Like I said, because it's still an everyday thing. At minimum, in the day. Yeah, it's speed bump. It's all at minimum 35, 40. Yeah. And well, then my last thing, Tim, you want me to bring up the side of the situation? Yeah. Yeah. And that's just a matter of. Well, when, I think well, what I was doing uh, way after the fiscal year. Okay. So we spent your own money. Right, on speed bumps yeah. and stuff. So I uh, yeah. wait until July. Yeah. So exactly. we could uh, and then get so, go down there and get Just someone. The get a price somewhere. Right. Well, that, I, yeah, I we're, had you we're mind. waiting on Hoskins. I didn't forgot that. you, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, we worked worst of that. But I had to wait after fiscal year because yeah. 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 my money on. But the whole thing is he's just kind of wanting to get it done. Yeah. Before you know the drought sets in, yeah. when you he's the seed, right? Yeah, grow. who's going to water? That's true. Yeah. And then if he's got to water it, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll go work on it. We should have done We hadn't forgot you because you know the grass doesn't just go overnight. Yeah. No, that's yeah. true. That is true. Um, well, they they got this grass now where you spray it on. You seen that? Yes. I wonder how that works. But uh, if it's the same stuff you're thinking about to be used at LG and E, Timmy got his hands on a little bit where a tree grew up. He put it out, sprayed it up, and I swear the next morning the grass looked like it was that tall. Oh wow. Yeah, they got That's the incredible. spray on. Now what are you doing? That's I just wondered about that. Uh, the bad part was he only had enough to do a spot about like that. <laughs> 
Right. 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 Right.
Yeah. Would you like to introduce your, oh, okay. your guest? Okay, this is Doreen Goodwin. Hi, Doreen. Uh, and she's Good. running for something. She's okay. Up. For her life? <laughs> she is, uh, she and I have been office mates for years, and uh, asked her to come down and introduce herself to you all. She's running for the family court judge. Okay. Those of you who know Judge Tim Feely, he uh, got a position in Frankfurt, and he went on up there. So there's, what, six months left of his term? Six years, so almost seven, actually. Well, short he retired over seven years of his term. So okay. the process is, uh, there's an application process, a nominating process, the governor appoints one of the three that uh, were selected by the nominating committee, and then in November you have to run to retain or Try to be whoever was in the position that would be needed. So you're serving. And there's six years following the election. Mm -hmm. yes. I know that was a convoluted way of trying to say uh, what I just said. <laughs> but basically, right. the governor uh, did appoint me in the position uh, to replace Judge Feely until the election, and I am going to. Uh, and that'll be this fall. That would be this fall. So you'll be running for the it's election. It's a nonpartisan. Uh, part of that, uh, unfortunate part of this process. But. Right. I work for you. You remember me? Yes. <laughs> Greeny. We call him Greeny. <laughs> yeah. I worked for you a few times. Okay. Mm -hmm. For appraisals. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of that transaction when I did the special commissioner uh, uh, sales, master commissioner sales for Henry mm -hmm. and Trimble was by correspondence. Mm -hmm. so. I'm glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. I was the master commissioner for a face, for a face for, uh, 13 years, over 13 years okay. in, in Oldham County, and yeah. then when Joe Yates, the Who's sure, over? Mm -hmm. Henry and Trimble, he yeah. had a conflict. Sometimes the judge would appoint me, Judge Conrad would, sometimes she would appoint someone else because we tried to keep an additional special commissioner available in the event that. Mr. Yates and I both had a conflict, so, and that did happen occasionally, so, um, so she would appoint one of the two who was a special, so sometimes I would have to say it's here. Not very often, though. No, a few times. That was a big Just a few times. <laughs> yeah. Doreen Goodwin. Oh, okay. Just remember. <laughs> Good no, win. say it again. <laughs> Good win. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 From, you know, from the answers. Yeah. The answer. The answer. The answer. I hope you're best. Thank you very much. And I asked uh, Janana and I were talking yesterday, and she said she had her meeting today. Mm -hmm. said, How'd you work with her? Are you still being recorded? Kind of a joke. Two or three days. <laughs> Doreen and I have worked together for at least 20 years, I don't know. It's been a long time. It's been a long, 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 long time. time. And if it's what worth anything... Day. What an order. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they kicked me out of the office here. <laughs> they kicked me out of the office here. And I went to LaGrange as far as I could get. And, uh, That's as far as they kicked you. Yeah, as far as they kicked you. <laughs> <laughs> You kept her going though, didn't you? You yeah. the main man. Yeah, absolutely. She didn't keep me going. I, what I want to like say, job, be quiet. What I want to say <laughs> is that Doreen is very honest. She very, knows the law very well. And I don't have nothing but the highest compliments for her work. She's doing a good job. And I just take that for what it's worth because she's been really, she's just in the short time she's been the appointed judge. She's done a good time. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Mother. There was a dishonest judge, you know, wasn't there? Was it? <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. I'm a motion with you. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. And Thank good you. luck to you in your election. I'd like to personally thank you. Know, Thank you. Good to see you, Mr. Butler. I'm pretty sure. Thank you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you as well. Can I read you all around it? Thank you. All right. Yeah, I'm bold. You as well. Thank you. And I have a motion. I have a motion to adjourn. Wait a minute. Before we, this this is John's last meeting with us, and uh, of course we're unprepared. You know that about me. 
Uh, I, think it's, I think it's worthy to note that 22 years. Okay, uh, whatever I read. Okay. Well, uh, you're going to move in Chicago, are you? You know, there's something in Chicago that has my attention. Today, something and a half, or is it new one here yet? New one's here. Okay. T today, little fella <laughs> is two. Mm. And baby girl is four days. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I have lots to look at in Chicago. But I'm not going to move to Chicago, but I know you all don't know. And you'll be surprised when I tell you that I am 74. So it's time to yeah, That's not a bad drive, Chicago. You and Harold twins, and nobody. Do what? You and Harold twins. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'd like to be 74 again. Yeah, I'd like to be 74 again. <laughs>